What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today's video is a recap of an adventure that I went on to New Jersey, Golden Auctions. They asked myself and Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! to come down and check out a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes case. It was pretty cool. It's actually from the same guy that we got that first case from about six months ago and he's auctioning it off at Golden Auctions. So we went down there. There's a lot of adventures along the way, including Mitty Pokerev, Ryan, you guys saw some of those videos. I actually visited a card shop while I was down there and it got a very cool card. So you guys are gonna see that in a minute. But before that, we have a quick giveaway and this is a good one. This was sent to me by a viewer. Let's see if I can show you guys. This is a Dark Revelation 4 Shining Flare Wingman. A member of the channel actually sent it to me with a couple of cards that I needed for my deck and he said, I haven't been able to sell this. Why don't you hang on to it? You can keep it. It's like a $50 card. It's heavily played, but it's still really nice. It was really cool of him to give it to me, and I figured let's just pass on the goodwill. So you guys have a chance to win that just like this video. Be subscribed. Let me know your favorite elemental hero and, or your favorite part of the trip. And let's get into this. It's a pretty fun video. I think you guys will enjoy it. What's up, guys? Vlogson34 back here with another video. I'm heading out to New Jersey. Golden Auctions invited us for some of their big Yu-Gi-Oh! auctions. So we're gonna go check them out in New Jersey. So we're taking a quick trip. Chelsea's dropping us off at the airport. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. So we're, we're gonna meet up with a few people up there. You might know a few people up there that live in New Jersey. And then uh, another Yu-Gi-Oh! guy is coming with me. So uh, you'll see when we get there. We made, oh, never mind. We didn't make it. There we go. We are in traffic. It's a good thing I'm not checking a bag or we would be late. We're gonna make it, I think, though. We made it to Philadelphia. So, I had to run on the plane. We were a little late, but we made it. So, we made it to Philly. I'm waiting on my personal chauffeur to show up and pick me up right now. So, while we're waiting, let's do a quick Maybe next time. The chauffeur is here. I don't know where they are. Let's see if we can find them. Are they over there? Yeah, they're probably over there. All right, let's see if we can find them. Is that Ruxin 34? He's picking us up. Ah, there he is. <laughs> What's going on, Poker Cave? Today we're going to hunt. <laughs> What's up, Poker Cave? Today we are going hunting for Pokemon cards, but also Yu Gi Oh cards. Who's that? Ruxin 34. Ooh. And. And. My name is Ryan Lipinski. I'm 32 years old from Howell, New Jersey. I'm single and I like long walks on the beach. <laughs> I'm the tallest. <laughs> Vlogs in 34 here. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I, I can't believe. Woo, New Jersey. Woo. New favorite state right here. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Look at that. We actually found Light of Destruction first edition packs in this shop, which was really cool, but they looked a little bit strange where the wrapping was like see-through. I had seen packs like that before, but I wasn't sure if it was legit. So Ryan actually bought one and we checked it out. You can open these up. So is which, which the lucky no one? Ghost, right? There is Ghost. There, there is Ghost for Honest. Is in this. Any mini mini mo. Catch a oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. By just, the... Bro, just, just... Dark Magician Girl. Okay. That's the one. We're gonna we're gonna buy this one. You just pull the ghost here and they're like, yeah, it's, these are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like they're probably good just because it's on both sides. Yeah, it feels good. It's it feels very strange, but yeah. All right. Do you do a card trick when you do when you open stuff? No, I don't. But you can. No, I'm not. I don't really know what it would be. It's gonna be though. You guys, you're filming. You're filming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's casual, okay. man. Check this out. Okay. okay, so we've got like a. Where would the rare be? Okay. I think it's gonna be like fifth. Maybe, maybe fifth. 
There's nine Maybe cards, do a right? couple to the front. Couple to the front? What's the... How many cards is it? Nine? Two. Nine, yeah. Couple to the front, you want me to do? You want me to do a couple Whatever to the front? Whatever you want to do. Do three. Three? They're usually not that tricky, so... Alright, let's go. No, you're good. Okay. Move it reverse. Portable battery pack. I couldn't remember. I think there's a rare and a. No, there's not. There could be, I think, though. So it's, it's four. Four from the back. Owner's yeah. seal. But if there's a hollow. Yeah. The cards look pretty good, right? They could have been weighed, you know? Of course, that's what I was doing. Yeah. <clears throat> but Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of weirder with some of the sets. They're pretty good weird. condition, man. Yeah, I think they're fine. But yeah, yeah again, with what you said, maybe. It could be weird. Let's yeah. look at this pack real quick. It's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's some epic know. stuff in here. <laughs> yeah, just so you know, if he's going to be best. I can't imagine they'd be in here if they weren't, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even know what to look for, so. I would say just mean looking for the crimson stuff to see if it's the crimson. Thunder stuff. Giant and Cyber Twin, that's pretty yeah. sick. The only five singles are Ganon Master with the Illinois. Yeah, I like the sealed <laughs> the, stuff. The yeah. Yeah, so. We found a Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh card vending machine, and Rev was buying stuff, so I just kind of came over there and butted in and started opening the Yu Gi Oh cards with him. And um, you guys will see the results. Coding energy. Drone run. Metal goggles. Bruno. Round three. I need this. Venusaur, baby. All right. Stadium. Old lady. My bae. League theft. He's addicted to the slots. <laughs> Just like the slots. I've always wanted to do this. I, I've seen Pokemon catcher. I've always wanted to do it. Crushing <laughs> hammer. Barry. Alistair. All right, I think we got to... Maybe we got all the bad luck out of this one now. So you maybe. gotta try the Yu-Gi-Oh, that's the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You gotta literally empty that. Rusted sword, rusted sword, crushing hammer, hyper potion. <laughs> Let's hey. go. Hey, this is where your money's at. Right, right there? Yeah. All right. Ready? I guarantee you're about to pull some fire right now. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> soul. Hey, is this? They're just random. It's not like they're in any order. Yeah, but let's try this one. This maybe this is the one. Skyla, Pokemon Communication, Shauna, Random Receiver. Have we hit a Hollow yet? We have not hit a Hollow. <laughs> just not Hollows. No, I'm ready. Well, uh, we, if we go this way, we we will. Ready? Oh. Look at that. I like what you did there. Professional. Alright, now we got a full pack. Double chance at a rare. Giraffe rig. Super rod. Team Yeltal. Rusted shield. Rusted shield. Rusted shield. <laughs> <laughs> the one was all rusted shield. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, we're not giving up yet. You, you gotta go for the four, man. You gotta go four across. You're right. <laughs> that's the strat. That's what that's the strat. That's what the people want. We're not doing that one though. You're just dropping cash right now. We got some magic cards right now. Okay, ready? Right, you gotta press. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, let's we'll start with these. Uh oh, not looking promising. No. <laughs> How to move bulk? <laughs> Hidden springs of the far east <laughs> in a Ferris wheel. Next edition. Of also, Pokey not Cave, looking. We're adding one of these. <laughs> yes. Also not looking promising. Ultra Ball. Oh no. <laughs> Professor's Research. Oh, ball man. Guy. Ball Guy. No, we got trolled. <laughs> when you get three of the same, it's, it's just, it just hurts even more. I need to I need to use more of my reserves for Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you get yeah, you get awesome promising. The hidden springs were were pretty. But promising. like we could we can get the coupon. And we could get a free. This is, could be good. We could get a free booster $100 box. Hundred dollars or twenty dollars in free Pokemon. Wait, they can't give us a free Pokemon booster wait, box because they're probably want, so expensive. Wait, wouldn't you want a hundred dollars or twenty dollars if you? Yeah. Wait. Why would you huh? pick? Why would you maybe pick it's 20? one or the other. Maybe you don't get to choose. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Double yeah. trouble. <laughs> I'll look more of that guy. All right, let's go. Come on. This is where everything's gonna change. 
Rusted Shields, Gym Trainer. Gym Trainer's gonna be another one. Oh, so many Rusted Shields and Gym Trainers. Bruh. Okay. Wait, I'm not sure. How do you feel after that? Yeah, so we spent $20 in quarters. Yeah, we spent. And here's what we got. This was not good. So much of commons and some couple and rares. here's some more. Wait, right here. Here's the rest of it. That was great. That was awesome. <laughs> so was it worth it? How can do you, you feel can right you now? Can you go back and uh, do it? I think. You spent $20. That the odds it would have been at least a pull. Better or worse than Wish? If I had to compare it to Wish, I would say, honestly, I'd probably prefer to go to Wish. <laughs> <laughs> I think so as well. <laughs> so, worth it, not worth it? Not worth it. Nope. We just picked up Ultimate Rare Mobius with Pokey Mobius. Rev and Ryan. Let's made it to the hotel. It's been a bit a long day. Flew over to New Jersey, hung out with Rev and Cool Trainer Ryan. That was a lot of fun. We went to a lot of different stores. We found not much, but we did find one thing. I want to show you guys. I kind of gave you a, probably a quick preview. I don't know if I kept it in the video or not. We actually found a ultimate and ultimate rare Mobius the Frost Monarch. Yeah, first edition ultimate rare from Soul of the Duelist. And it was listed as lightly played in the store and honestly this thing looks pretty good i mean check this out i gotta cover up my face because yeah look at that yeah that card looks pretty i mean does that not look pretty that's a good find guys check this out i mean the back does have the usual soul of the duel scuffing you can see it there but they had this listed at light play and honestly, this is how they come out of the pack usually. I mean, oh man, this is a nice one. It has a few scratches on it, got some scuffing. I mean, honestly, it's a really nice card. So that was really fun to pick up that. Um, we did a few videos, stuff like that. Now I'm waiting on uh, Lewis, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! to show up. His flight got delayed, I think, and he's gonna show up at like 1 a.m. So that was just me, I'm chilling. Probably about to edit for a different video for a video you guys will see before you see this. It's been a fun time. We got to see the Pokey Cave. I mean, it's Yugi Cave. That place is crazy. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I think that's it for this uh, this update for the vlog. Tomorrow we go to Golden. We're going to check out some pretty epic items that they're auctioning off and uh, probably do some chatting with some of the people at Golden Auctions. It's going to be fun. We are waiting on Vintage Yu Gi Oh to show up at any second. It's late. He's finally here. And we're editing. Hey, -o. you finally made it. Hey, -o. you got some McDonald's after many years. <laughs> I've aged two years, a long time. He finally made it. Ah, too long. <laughs> hey, guys, Vintage Yu Gi Oh! here today with Rux and 34. You mean to tell me Yu Gi Oh! cards don't have deeper meaning? Uh, hey, there was a I, lot of desires. I'm not there. trying to make any definitive statements right now <laughs> about uh, <laughs> at 2 a.m. about deeper meaning. Chaos Sorcerer, Mask Hero. Oh! What the hell? Get it! It's the Chaos Emperor Dragon! Put it in the outro! Look at that. No, oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was good in that. I only have a few clips of Lewis and I actually in there with the case. It was really, really cool. There's actually a full production video coming out on their channel, so you guys will be able to check it out when we actually crack the actual case, which is pretty crazy. We checked out the boxes. It was it was pretty wild. Yeah, right there with the golden auction. Look at that. First edition. It's about to happen. Full case. That's pretty insane. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here with absolute fire. You can't get anything crazier than that. Find it and I'll believe it, but I think this is the pinnacle of Yu-Gi-Oh! items, especially sealed items. You know, you're gonna have your prize cards and things like that, but of something that you or I could actually obtain and open, this is the item to own. How do we keep finding these? I don't know. We're <laughs> very lucky. So if you guys didn't catch it the first time, the same seller that we bought these cases from in LA had another sealed LOB case. So yeah. he was setting on an absolute yeah. gold mine. So he can thank us for telling him to keep it sealed. Yeah. So we just opened it for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just 
truly an epic moment. Uh, you want to start getting into uh, getting the boxes out here? Yeah, All right. let's do this. The deed has been done. Yet again, we officially broke the seal. Yep. On a first edition LOB case. That was pretty fun. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, I think definitely a once in a lifetime thing. Um, all the boxes look really nice, um, crisp, and seals were right. And whoever gets that is going to have a very unique item for sure. Put your guesses in the comments. What will the entire case auction for? It's going to be interesting to see. I think it's in November or something. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be be a lot i think but any, any of you guys want to buy me a christmas present that's it christmas present for uh vintage Yu -Gi -Oh. send it over there if you win the auction yeah it'll be great it'll be great so just <laughs> just do that that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it there's a lot of different stuff going on we don't do a lot of vlogs if you guys enjoyed this one then maybe we'll do it more when i travel or whatever happens in, you know in the future so if you do, just let me know in the comments and that's it for this one i'll see you guys later peace Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!